We have cut some cross sections of the cell formers so you can see the cavity shapes of the cup and shallow lily formers, the deeper bulbous and trumpet shaped formers too. An alstrom area has been placed into the trumpet formers too. You can see how it sits snugly into the cavity so it is well supported during the drying process. To prepare your former, you will need to use a sharp point to make a hole in its base. This should be large enough to thread wires through. Pass your flower stem down through the hole and ease its head into the cavity. Turn the back of the former upwards and add a large paper clip to keep the former in position and stop it slipping. Use a pair of pliers to bend the wire and sit the flower to one side to dry. The centre of the rose is supported until it is partially dry using the smallest trumpet former from the deeper set of cell formers too. It is transferred once the outer layer petals have been added into the medium sized lily former from the shallower set of cell formers. Using a cell stick CS the petals are turned backwards so they rest on the undulating top edge of the former. Adjust the petals where necessary to give a natural appearance to the flower. Two nasturtium petals have been placed into the medium trumpet former from set two. Insert a third petal down into the cavity and feed the wire through the hole in the base. Support the petal against the polystyrene and bend the wire to insert it into the bottom of the former so the petal rests in place against the side of the cavity. The tip bent over the edge therefore taking the shape of the undulation. Add the extra petals. Once dried, add strong colouring and assemble into an eye-catching arrangement. Don't forget that you can not only use the former cavities to hold flowers during the drying process, but can also use the flat area at the back for support. Here I have an orchid which is fairly flat. Small pieces of foam have been cut and placed with tweezers beneath the petals to give extra lift. Tucking pieces of sponge under the upper petals on this lily will give them added lift. A dressmaker's pin can be inserted into the former to stop the Cattleya orchid's wide back petal from slipping and moving while the lower ones dry over the undulations. Alternatively, use a cocktail stick. Cover the former with cling film in preparation for adding colour. Insert the flower through the film and feed down into the former. Choose a smaller sized former than the flower so that it overlaps. Gather in the edges of the film and twist tightly around the wire and secure using a large paper clip. Colour can be added to both the back and front. The smallest of the shallower lily formers has been used to support a daffodil while it is painted. Using a combination of dusting powder mixed with a tiny amount of vegetable fat will minimise any colour migration. However, if you look closely you can see that some of the colour has missed the petal but thankfully will not stain the former since the film can be disposed of after the paint has dried. 
There are likely to be fewer breakages during painting fragile flowers using this method.